What's going on guys, PowerGPU here. Today we're going to be doing Vulkan vs OpenGL on Doom. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because a lot of people don't understand what Vulkan is yet. Um, they need a little bit more explanation. A lot of gamers nowadays just buy these video cards, pop them in, and pretty much put everything at the possibly high settings as they can. But when they go into Doom and they see OpenGL or Vulkan, they're going to be like, What's the difference? What the heck is this? Well, quickly, I just want to let you know that OpenGL and Vulkan are both rendering APIs. In both cases, the GPU executes shaders, while the CPU executes everything else. Vulkan has a simpler API, which reduces the amount of computations the CPU has to do, and it replaces the monolith global state machine with a much more programmable approach. This enables a fine-grained programming of tasks the GPU. Wait, you guys are probably like, wait, I still don't get it. Well. Let's just do this. Let's make it more simpler. AMD did a video. Let's go ahead and watch that instead. Asynchronous shaders provide a full solution as they operate like a highway, eliminating traffic lights and scheduling issues and enabling tasks for multiple sources to be submitted to the GPU and processed simultaneously. Using multiple command processors, the asynchronous compute engines in AMD's Graphics Core Next GPU architecture, each queue can submit commands without waiting for the other tasks to complete. The result? Vastly improved GPU efficiency that boosts graphics processing performance, reduces latency, and delivers the consistent frame rates that are vital to an immersive and lifelike gaming experience. All right, so I hope you guys understood a little bit better. Let's go ahead and start off with the Doom Vulcan uh, results. At 1440p, you see the RX4 hitting 82 FPS average, while the 1060 averaged 66 FPS at 1440p. Uh, once again, like I said, it did improve over, over OpenGL both cards, but the RX480 definitely improved the most. At 1080p, you see an average of 110 FPS versus the 1060 at 93. And keep in mind that this 1060 is an aftermarket version, which does jump up about one to two FPS more than the factory version uh, for the RX4 or for the GTX 1060. Um, so you do see some jumps still, and the still AMD is taking over for sure. At the top where you see Ultra Settings with TXAA, that's actually incorrect. It was actually set up with TSSAA. For Vulkan to work properly, that's what you have to set it at. Now moving on to the OpenGL version, as you can see now, the 1060 jumps ahead. At 1440p, you see 57 FPS for the RX 480. At 1080p, you see 76, while the 1060 at 1440p does 61 FPS. And the GTX 1060 at 1080p does 80 FPS. So you see a, a big jump, uh, you know, going from OpenGL to Vulkan for sure for AMD cards. So like I said before, if you guys are running any type of AMD cards, definitely make sure to set Vulkan on uh, for your graphics cards. Uh, and if you're running Nvidia, I'll still set up Vulkan. I mean, it still, it still went up a little bit, not as much as AMD did. Uh, and keep in mind, Vulkan is more directed to AMD at this point. But we'll see you in the future. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.